Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 12.15 in Honolulu, 5.15 in New York. It is Monday, 23rd day of December 2019, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. With Christmas Eve beginning tomorrow and Christmas following that, we are in for a shortened holiday week. Although we did get some action today in both the U.S. equities and the precious metals with the entire precious metals complex closing higher. Although the one thing that we have to add is that volume has thinned out just a little bit. But nonetheless, we had a nice move in gold. Depending on the activity tomorrow, because we're only looking at a half a day, we will see whether or not it warrants us doing a show on Christmas Eve. If we do, it's because there is some heavy action. We will be following the market, so, and then return after the Christmas holiday on Wednesday. Let's take a look at current pricing. A nice move in gold today, finishing up about $9 on the day. Fairly strong move, in fact. $14.89.80 is the price, but what I am impressed with is the fact that it opened at $14.82.40, traded to a low of $81.20, and all of that is above the 50-day moving average. And of course, that is a key level that we have been watching. Now, the market opened above and closed solidly above, and that's the first indication that we are looking at. The key is whether we're going to see follow-through. Because traders, when you consider the environment that this market is moving up in, which is the trade war phase one, although that's kind of been put on hold, that is supposedly solved. And we have a strong U.S. equities markets and geopolitical risk, aside from the threat from North Korea, is really diminished recently. So we'll have to see if we get a continuation of that. Next, we'll look at platinum. Platinum closed up about 2.5% today. Nice move, $23.00. 937 palladium up almost two percent 33 dollars and 80 cents 1842 and lastly silver which gained almost 30 cents and closed at 17 dollars and 52 cents today let's take a look at our charts i thought that this was interesting enough to create a chart for it and really what we are looking at is a gold chart monthly candlesticks and really what we are determining is how the market reacted from december to january in recent years and we're going back four years this starting at the end of 2015 beginning of 2016 of course that is significant because that is when the multi-year correction concluded and as you can see we saw a pretty decent gain going into January. January is really where we saw the market take off. Now, the following year, we looked at December. December closed lower on the month. It opened in January just below that, but closed above it, creating an engulfing bullish. That was also interesting. If we go into the end of 2017, we had a rise both in December as well as January, but January definitely closed above December. And the same is true when we look at 2019. Here we are, excuse me, here we have December. It was already moving up and then it closed higher again. So what does that mean for this year? Well, if history repeats itself, we should see a nice spark either going into the end of this year and then into January or in January, which brings us to this other monthly chart. And here, what we're really trying to look at is the entire climb that we saw really 2002 up to mid 2011 when the market topped out over 1900, the multi-year correction that followed. And then this is the area that we have been looking at on that last chart. But what is significant really about this year over the last couple of years is that glass ceiling was broken. And of course, a couple of years that I am talking about are these last two years here. We can see these tops that have come in roughly at about 1370 and it was not until this year where we actually broke out of that range and so to me this year has been absolutely significant and it does indicate higher pricing over the next couple of years i will be coming out with our gold outlook 2020 and that will be released between christmas and new year's and finally, I do want to take a closer look at today's activity because I believe it was significant, significant in that it broke above the 50-day moving average. And this really is for the first time that it is actually closed above that 
since back into this area right here because as it came down as you can see we had multiple times where we had tops come in but the market would always close below that that being said we still need a little bit more price activity to determine that we are truly back into rally mode now we have really been in rally mode since the end of november but we've had a choppy market when i say choppy we've had this ascending trend line that shows a series of higher lows but we have also had these series of lower highs and we're not quite at the apex yet and so that's what i want to see if we can actually break above that apex that would certainly trigger a buy signal now as we go into the holiday season here the other thing we want to look at is volume i've just pulled that up and what you can see when we look at it is it is really diminishing at this point down to about 140,000 contracts considering at the peak of november it had 600,000 contracts and a medium level in terms of volumes about 400,000 we do have thin markets and that's why we have to be careful when we look at the markets in this area if there is no action tomorrow we will not do a show and if that is the case i want to wish all of our subscribers that celebrate christmas a merry christmas and for all of us happy holidays and a blissful new year season which is getting underway right now this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading we'll talk to you after christmas for the next daily update and review bye-bye